For families considering a move to Australia, the prospect of providing quality education for their young ones is of paramount importance. The Australian education system, renowned globally for its excellence, offers a multi-tiered structure designed to cater to the diverse needs of children from various backgrounds. In this documentary, we embark on a comprehensive journey through the Australian education system, shedding light on each level's intricacies, costs, and the factors that set it apart on the world stage. Early Childhood Education ECE, Cultivating Curiosity the conundrum faced by working parents moving to Australia is addressed through Early Childhood Education ECE. This non-compulsory but strongly recommended phase caters to children from birth to five years old. With offerings spanning kindergartens, childcare centres, and family daycare, ECE endeavours to create a nurturing environment where children's innate curiosity and growth are encouraged. This chapter delves into the options, the significance of ECE, and the investment parents make in their children's early learning journey. Primary Education Fostering Foundations The foundation of a child's educational journey is built during their primary education years, spanning from ages 6 to 12. Divided into two stages, early primary, foundation to year 2, and upper primary, year 3 to year 6, this chapter uncovers the comprehensive curriculum that hones students' basic skills, fosters creativity, and sparks a passion for lifelong learning. By exploring both government-funded and independent primary schools, we shed light on the choices available for families seeking an enriching education for their children. Secondary education transitioning to teenage years. As children transition into their teenage years, secondary education becomes the focal point. From ages 12 to 16, students navigate lower secondary, years 7 to 10, and upper secondary, years 11 to 12, levels. This chapter offers insight into the diverse subjects, opportunities for specialization, and the freedom of choice that upper secondary education provides. Through an examination of government-funded and independent secondary schools, we uncover the distinctive features that shape young minds for adulthood. Tertiary education charting future trajectories. After completing secondary education, the door to tertiary education swings open, offering pathways to higher education and vocational training. In this chapter, we dissect the dynamics of higher education institutions, universities, and vocational education and training, VET, providers. By spotlighting the array of options available, we highlight how Australia's tertiary education equips individuals with the skills and knowledge required to excel in their chosen fields. Key tenets of the Australian education system. Excellence in quality. Recognized globally, the Australian education system thrives on delivering consistent excellence. We delve into the intricate factors contributing to this, including rigorous teacher training and the prioritization of student learning. Student-centric philosophy. At the heart of the system lies a student-centric approach, tailored to cater to individual learning styles and aspirations. We explore the various teaching methodologies employed to ensure each student's growth. Innovation and progression. This chapter delves into how the Australian education system adapts to the demands of a modern world, emphasizing innovation in teaching methods and technology integration. A tapestry of diversity. Australia's reputation as a multicultural hub resonates within its education system. Our exploration of the diversity within classrooms underscores the enrichment this brings to the learning experience. Nurturing futures through Australian education. In the intricate tapestry of the Australian education system, families moving to Australia find a well-crafted framework that values holistic growth, fosters innovation, and celebrates diversity. From the formative years of early childhood education to the specialised paths of tertiary education, this system ensures a well-rounded, world-class education. The cost of studying in Australia varies depending on the level of study, the institution, and the location. Tuition fees. Tuition fees for international students in Australia range from $15,000 Australian dollars to $50,000 Australian dollars per year. The average tuition fee for an undergraduate degree is $25,000 Australian dollars per year. Living expenses. Living expenses in Australia are also high, but they vary depending on the city and lifestyle. The average living expenses for an international student in Australia are $25,000 Australian dollars per year. Here is a breakdown of the average cost of living in Australia for international students. Accommodation, AUD $10,000 Australian dollars $20,000 per year. Food, AUD $5,000 Australian dollars $8,000 per year. Transportation, AUD $2,000 Australian dollars $3,000 per year. Books and supplies, AUD $1,000 Australian dollars $2,000 per year. 
Personal expenses, AUD $2,000 Australian dollars $3,000 per year. In addition to tuition fees and living expenses, there are other costs associated with studying in Australia, such as Visa application fee, AUD $620 Health insurance, AUD $400 Australian dollars $600 per year. Travel expenses, AUD $1,000 Australian dollars $2,000. The total cost of studying in Australia can be significant, but there are a number of scholarships and financial aid options available to international students. Here are some of the scholarships and financial aid options available to international students in Australia. Australian Government Scholarships – The Australian Government offers a number of scholarships to international students, including the Endeavour Scholarships and the Australia Award Scholarships. University Scholarships – Many universities in Australia offer scholarships to international students. These scholarships can be based on academic merit, financial need, or a combination of both. Private Scholarships – There are also a number of private scholarships available to international students. These scholarships are typically awarded by businesses, organizations, or individuals. Here are some of the key differences between government and private schools in Australia. Funding. Government schools are funded by the government, while private schools are self-funded. This means that government schools do not charge tuition fees, while private schools do. Religious affiliation. Government schools are not affiliated with any religion, while private schools may be affiliated with a religion. This means that government schools do not teach religious education, while private schools may do so. Selection criteria. Government schools are open to all students, while private schools may select students based on academic ability, religious beliefs, or other factors. This means that government schools are more inclusive, while private schools may be more selective. Class size. Government schools typically have larger class sizes than private schools. This means that students in government schools may have less individual attention from their teachers. Curriculum. Government schools follow the Australian curriculum, which is the same curriculum that is taught in private schools. However, private schools may also offer additional subjects or programs that are not offered in government schools. Extracurricular activities. Government schools offer a variety of extracurricular activities, but private schools may offer a wider variety of extracurricular activities. This is because private schools often have more resources than government schools. Facilities. Government schools typically have good facilities, but private schools may have better facilities. This is because private schools often have more money to spend on facilities. Academic results. Academic results are generally good in both government and private schools. However, some studies have shown that private schools may have better academic results than government schools. Overall quality. Both government and private schools offer a good quality education. However, some parents may prefer private schools because they believe that they offer a higher quality education. Ultimately, the best type of school for a child depends on the individual child's needs and preferences. Some parents may prefer government schools because they are more affordable and inclusive. Other parents may prefer private schools because they believe that they offer a higher quality education, or because they are affiliated with a particular religion. It is important to do your research and visit both government and private schools before making a decision. You should also talk to other parents and get their recommendations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Good to Know.